coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Aurora Flight Sciences reveals solar-powered autonomous aircraft Odysseus. QF-16 delivered to Hurricane Ravage Tyndall Air Force Base. And Fluidity's FT Aviator Drone Controller, named CES 2019, Innovation Awards honoree. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Aurora continues its nearly 30-year legacy of advancing autonomous systems with Odysseus, a solar-powered autonomous aircraft. Odysseus is an ultra-long endurance, high-altitude platform utilizing advanced solar cells and built with lightweight materials. Odysseus can effectively fly indefinitely, all powered by clean, renewable energy. The inspiration for Odysseus started with a Daedalus project that ultimately set records in distance and for human-powered flight in 1988, with a 72-mile flight between the Greek islands of Crete and Santorini. The project was organized and led by Aurora President and CEO John Langford and other MIT colleagues who later founded Aurora. Daedalus's record still stands today. Aurora was founded by the ideas that technology and innovation can provide powerful solutions to tough problems that affect all humankind. Odysseus was an idea born out of Daedalus that is now a real solution to advancing the important research around climate change and other atmospheric chemistry problems," said Aurora President and CEO John Langford. In addition to climate and atmospheric research, Odysseus's persistence enables a range of missions and operations across communication, connectivity, and intelligence. Odysseus's first flight is scheduled for the spring of 2019. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. More oriented to the sports side of the drone business, the new 4K-capable Hover 2 is getting serious attention. From the makers of the Hover Camera Passport, the Hover 2 sports optical radar and AI-enabled obstacle avoidance and tracking features. In blast-off mode, the drone could be controlled from up to three miles away when paired with Hover's controller. And retrofitable propeller guards improve aerodynamic characteristics and can increase flight times up to 23 minutes. These stories are only going to get more and more common. Someone takes offense at a drone flying near their property and decides to shoot it down, despite the law. This time, the incident occurred in Travis County, Texas. Troy Lamb, 71, took some shots with a shotgun at a drone he said was flying over his property. The neighbor who actually owned the drone called the police, saying someone was shooting a gun near his house, and the shotgun pellets were falling on his back porch. ZF has become the first company in Germany to receive official approval for automated drone flights over factory premises. A drone prototype has recently started flying spare parts, such as sensors or control cards, from the central warehouse to workshops. As soon as the test flights are complete and drones properly deployed, such flights will relieve vehicle traffic at the plant and save time on the up to one kilometer long delivery routes that are often on the upper floors of buildings. American Bureau of Shipping, a provider of classification and technical services to the offshore industry, has awarded Avisite certification to support survey-related inspections on all types of rigs using drones. Avisite is now certified as an ABS-recognized external specialist in remote inspection techniques. Our goal at Avisite is to lead generational paradigm shifts in the industry, said Avisite CEO J.B. Bernstein. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. 
The recent delivery of a QF-16 from Boeing to the 82nd Aerial Target Squadron marks an important milestone on the road to recovery for Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida. The arrival of the QF-16 brings us one step closer to resuming operations. It is vital to the warfighter that we resume operations when it is deemed safe to do so, said Colonel Stephen Boatwright, 53rd Weapons Evaluation Group Commander. The QF-16 enables live fire weapons testing in the Joint Gulf Range Complex, which is made up of 180,000 square miles that stretches from Key West to Northwest Florida and allows for joint tests and training exercises. The 82nd ATRS currently has 18 QF-16s assigned to Tyndall Air Force Base. Six QF-16s are unmanned, but all of them are modified to be flown remotely. The manned configuration of the aircraft can be used with a pilot in the cockpit to train the remote pilots flying from the ground station. It is important that we continue to accept new target aircraft into the fleet to keep test programs on schedule and to deliver capability to the warfighter, said Lt. Col. Ryan Serrell, 82nd ATRS Commander. Fluidity Technologies has been named as CES 2019 Innovation Awards honoree for its FT Aviator, the first single-handed precision flight drone controller with advanced camera interfaces built right into the device. The announcement was made during CES unveiled New York, an invite-only tech event bringing together top media, exhibitors, and industry leaders for a sneak peek of the products and trends expected at CES 2019. Former NASA astronaut, pilot, physician, and entrepreneur Scott Parazinski designed and launched the first of its kind FT Aviator drone controller recently. Drone controllers today simply aren't intuitive to fly, and from my aviation and robotics experiences, I had the unique lens to understand what it takes to create a precision movement and control a motion through 3D space," said Parazinski, founder and CEO. We are incredibly honored to be recognized by the Consumer Technology Association and look forward to positively impacting the drone market with our simple intuitive controller. The FT Aviator is currently compatible with nearly all DJI drones and is available for purchase on Kickstarter. The FT Aviator is expected to retail for $449, but is available for pre-order for 50% off with limited quantities. It is expected to ship in early quarter one of 2019. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.